this red light? Is it this blue ocean? Is it these egg whites? Yeah, they're not even white. What's up with that? Anyway, there are many more mysterious aspects of color that we're going to figure out. But first, you have to be color. Huh? Just pretend that you're color. You are color. Yeah, you. In your journey through the world as color, you start out as a wavelength of light. In order to find out what color you are, we must look at your wavelength. Light is a wave that travels through space, and like any wave, it has what's called a wavelength. That's just the length of one peak to the next peak. Different colors are simply different wavelengths of light. For example, red has a longer wavelength than green, which has a longer wavelength than blue. So, let's take a look at your wavelength. Well, well, it looks like you're all the colors of light, which means you're actually white light, which is just a combination of all the other colors of light. Now, light moves super fast, so you better get, oh, good job. As you move along, you bump into an object. Uh -huh. You didn't fall that hard. Hey, look, you're red. Oh, you're wondering what happened to all the other colors. They were absorbed into the car. Oh, jeez, not like that. When light hits a car, some colors are reflected and some are absorbed into the paint based on the structure of molecules or chemicals in the paint. In the case of this red car, the molecules absorb every other color, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, and everything in between. But red is reflected. So far, we've uncovered two mysteries of light. White light is actually all the colors of light, and a red car absorbs everything but red. Well, it gets even more mysterious once you reach an eyeball. Up you go. You are now light with a red wavelength, and you're headed straight for an eyeball. Boom, you've passed through the lens in an eye. See all those things around you? Those are rods and cones. Inside an eyeball are what's called photoreceptor cells, which is just a super fancy word for a cell that is sensitive to light. It can take light and turn it into a signal that is sent to the brain. Photoreceptor cells are what actually allow you to see. Cones are the cells in your eyes that perceive different colors, so you can think of them like colorful ice cream cones. Rods are used more for night vision, so any color sensed by a rod just looks like some shade of black and white, just like a rod. You are about to be absorbed by these cells, but wait, I must warn you, something might go wrong in the process. First, let's figure out how we see red. When we see red, we're not actually seeing red. Huh? Remember those cones in your eyes? There are three different types of them, red, green, and blue cones. They are each sensitive to different colors, so if you shine red light on them, the red cone will respond a lot, the green cone a little less, and the blue cone almost none at all. That combined response is what tells us it's red light blue light would be perceived more like this. If any of these types of cones is not working properly, you perceive color differently. This is how one type of color blindness happens. Luckily, this is a good eye, so you are absorbed properly and are now a signal on your way to the brain. At this point, you are still color, though now you're a signal as well, but not for long. Soon, the brain will receive the signal and perceive that the eyeball saw the color red, so now you are a perception. I know, this is all very confusing. So far you were a light wave, a reflection, a signal, and now you are perception. But you're still just color. Didn't I tell you color was a mystery? Whether color is a wavelength of light, a reflection, a signal, or a perception, I think I prefer my world with color.